Good evening, and welcome to Rob's News. Tonight, we're going to be discussing some important issues from a couple months ago. What can I say? I've been having some production issues with my staff. This script is garbage. Why the hell am I paying you people? Somebody broke both my microphones. Where the hell is my newspaper? Help! Somebody! Anybody! But back in February, Congress passed a law that said no more importing items made by slaves, which sounds like something they should have done like a hundred years ago. But apparently, back when they passed Smoot Hawley, boring, 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 they had a clause in there that said, we cannot import items made by slaves unless we don't produce enough of this item in this country to meet consumptive demand, which doesn't sound right. They were basically saying, okay, we can all agree, no more supporting the institution of slavery. If slaves are making the item, we're not importing it. And then one guy said, well, what if we really need the thing? And then we were like, well, obviously, if we really need something, I mean, it's not like we're going to be inconvenienced. It's like America, where we always do the right thing. Oh, shit, my bus! Unless it's inconvenient. And so, what were these all-important items that we would import them even if they were made by slaves? Well, apparently, it was the fish in our pet food and shrimp at Red Lobster. Oh, man, that shrimp was good. I wonder how they make it so cheap. Mm. Oh. Actually... There's so many goods in this country produced by forced labor that the government has an entire website devoted to tracking it. What happened was, the AP ran an investigative report exposing how much of the seafood in this country was fished by slaves. And you would think that the mighty moral members of Congress would put a stop to this immediately. But no, it took them about a year to fix the problem. By comparison, the 2008 Wall Street bailout package, they got passed in about a month. Sounds to me like these slaves could use a better lobbyist. Members of Congress, I mean, I am here representing my people. You guys are a nation of laws, a powerful nation, yet you are supporting the slave labor that is going on in my country? How can you stand for freedom when you're supporting the slave labor? Nice speech, man. Where are you, where are you giving that? Oh, they wouldn't even let me in the building. Oh. I have to go. I gotta wash my hands. You gotta, you gotta go. I, 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 gotta, yeah, well, well, I gotta wash. Leave. Oh. So what happened was about a year ago, Congress put forward a bill to ban items being imported into this country made by slaves, and then people voted against it, which is insane. I can't imagine there's still some dude in the South. Well, 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 what? No more slaves? Why am I supposed to run my economy then? Shut dang it! We gotta hang down. So why is it that people oppose the bill? Well, much like a beverage being served by Bill Cosby on a date, people slip stuff in. That's right, this bill about banning slave items ended up with all sorts of nonsense in it. There was pages about denying global warming, there were things about whether or not territories in the West Bank should be considered Israel, and why? Why should a bill about banning slave items have anything to do with global warming? The answer is it shouldn't. We've said it before, and we'll say it again. Congress needs to start passing bills on one subject at a time. That way, like an old dude who started eating prunes, we can get the process flowing smoothly again. And truthfully, we don't even need government to fix this. It's up to us as consumers. If we can demand in cage-free and gluten-free, we can be demanding slave-free also. Oompa, loompa, doompa, dee, doo. Whatever happened to that lobbyist dude? Oompa, loompa, doompa, dee, doo. Slavery sucks, but this song is still cool. What happens when things are made by slaves? People go ahead and buy it anyways. How long you think we'll be stuck on this boat? Probably forever if Trump is your vote. I don't like the look of it. <laughs>